my father, Pandurang Khan Khoje, was a founder member of the Gadal Party. He started off his revolutionary activities as a child. At the knees of his grandfather, who had fought in 1857, he heard all about the British and he sort of got inspired that we must do something to take them away. And the 1857 was a very sort of inspirational revolution for a number of people of his generation. So from there, he started going into revolutionary activities like uh, in his schools, uh, talking to children. Because of all this, he finally went to Lokmania Tilak in those days in Pune and asked him that, look, what can I do to bring an armed revolution into this country? Tilak told him, look, you can't do anything because we can't carry weapons after 1857. Nobody is allowed to carry weapons. You better go abroad. So he says, where do I go? So he sent him to Japan, where he sort of met the Sunyat Sen revolutionary. I'm digressing on this point because Sunyat Sen is a very important uh, person in my father's life history. So he met Sunyat Sen. He started teaching the, the Chinese revolutionaries English in exchange of that. They were teaching him how to use weapons and this kind of things. It was just a question of meeting between revolutionaries. From there, he went to San Francisco. He took a passage in the steamship as a sort of a coolie. So it was in San Francisco that his revolutionary activities of the brother started. He started meeting Indians and talking to them that we must have independence. Then from there, he went to Portland, Oregon to study agriculture. He had been advised by Sunyat Sen to study agriculture because he said you will achieve independence but your country is very prone to famines so you better do something about that so he started learning studying agriculture in portland oregon where he met a lot of sikh migrants who were there and started talking to them about indian independence revolution how to manage these things it's a very strange movement this gadar movement it started abroad. This is the only movement that has started abroad. There is no other revolutionary movement that has started outside the country of origin. And these young farmers were prepared to give up everything to come back to India and fight the revolution. And that is the time when he met Sohan Singh Bhakna, Bhakna and other members of the Gadar movement. And they decided to call this as Indian independence movement. But then they decided that they have to call a Punjabi, a Punjabi who can com communicate better with Punjabis. And they got Lala Hardayal. So at that at particular moment, the nucleus of the Gadar party was formed. It was Hardayal's idea to call the movement as Gadar. My father took up the secret activities of the Gadar by teaching these revolutionaries how to use weapons, how to make arms, how to use arms, military tactics. Now you will say, how come, how did he ever learn to use weapons, make bombs and military activities? Because while he was in San Francisco, he heard of a Mount Amal Pais military academy and he enrolled in that. And it was in the Mount Amal Pais military academy. He uh, got his degree in 1910. And here he met many Mexican revolutionaries. How did he pay his fees? How did he manage the finances of all this? He managed all this by doing what Americans do, work as they study. He worked as a railway coolie. And in the holidays, he would go and meet Mexicans. And the Mexicans used to tell him about the movement of revolution in Mexico, which was going on in 1910. That is how the Mexican connection came. It was very important to see that the Mexicans wanted better life and uh, independence from a dictator that they had. So they started a revolution there. And they even had established a route by which Indians could enter into the United States the same route that was being used by Mexicans to enter into the United States illegally. After that, the Gadar revolutionary in Astoria, Oregon, reached the strength of 5,000 people. There were so many, there were completely fiery Punjabis wanting to fight and come back to India. And the student leaders like my father and, and Hardayal, who was a professor, they were sort of imbuing the sense that you must fight.
This thing that you mentioned that uh, Indian revolutionaries sort of mobilized outside of India, that's quite uh, fascinating. And could you briefly kind of talk about who made up the party? What ended up happening? Did they come back to India? Yes, certainly. They were mainly Sikh laborers who had left Punjab because of the bad conditions for farmers in Punjab at that time. And they wanted a better life. They were very hardworking. They were wanted as immigrants. And that is the time main meetings took place in Astoria, Oregon. And that is the time where the newspapers uh, were all the time talking about the meetings that these people have. It was in 1913 and 14 when the First World War started that it was said, well, now is our chance. The Let us fight the British when they're occupied fighting a war somewhere else. And at that time, Unfortunately, Lala Hardayal had already left because he had been arrested in the United States. He had to leave. The party was left sort of headless. Lala Hardayal had made a, forged a sort of a friendship with the Germans also. And the Germans had promised arms and ammunition. And they were going to have a meeting in Constantinople. So this brave Punjabis all decided to come back to India during the World War, and they had uh, one or two rich industrialist Punjabis who sort of decided to send these people back to India. My father could not come back to India as he had no passport. He had traveled without passport. He had no money. He heard that there was a meeting in Constantinople of the Gadar party, the German part of the Gadar party. So you can see there was a sort of a two-pronged attack. There were meetings taking place in Constantinople. Berlin had a committee there, a Berlin committee, all full of Indians wanting independence. They were all part of the Gada. And then this whole band of brave Punjabi Sikhs who wanted to come to India and fight. Unfortunately, what happened when these Punjabis landed in India, they were treated as criminals. They were captured. They were hung. They were sent to Andaman jails. Had my father returned to India, he would have also landed up either in the uh, execution block or in Andaman Islands. But my father went to Constantinople. How he went there is another very big story with a forged passport made in a Persian name by one friend that he had found. And with that, he kept on, he went and met the Germans. And there were some expeditions being formed, uh, the German expeditions. There were two or three expeditions. One was by Niedermeyer, another one was by Wasmus. My father joined the Wasmus expedition. The other expedition, one of them took Raja Mahendra Pratap to Kabul and Afghanistan, where they established a provisional government. They had a, a, a president, they had a defense minister, they had all two or three people, Raja Mahendra Pratap, Barkatullah, and others. They sat there, and Mahendra Pratap wrote a lot of letters to the Indian different uh, Maharajas, asking them to join in, but it didn't come to anything. You know, the First World War was a very sort of a cruel war, and so many deaths have taken place, and India was not prepared to uh, join or take part in the revolution. 